Today we're going to talk about uh, pay, okay, pay periods and hourly rates and stuff. So uh, pay periods can vary from job to job. So let's think about three different increments of time in which someone receives a paycheck from working. Okay, a lot of people are paid monthly. Teachers are paid monthly. You get one paycheck a month. Um, there are people who are paid weekly. A lot of grocery workers are paid weekly. Um, it depends. Now, you can also be paid um, bi-monthly, which means you get two paychecks a month. Uh, or I'm sorry, that's not bi-monthly, it's semi-monthly. Okay, that means you get two paychecks a month, so usually on the 15th and the 30th or something. Or you can also be paid bi-weekly. That means every two weeks. Okay, um, now a lot of times that's twice a month, but in two months out of the year, you're going to get three paychecks. Okay, because there's going to be a fifth month or a fifth, uh, a fifth week in that month that's gonna, you're gonna get a paycheck on. So anyway, there's four different ways. There's a bunch of different ways that you can be paid, but there you go. Okay, so some terms that you'll wanna know. Direct deposit, that's when uh, the employer deposits money directly uh, into your bank account. You don't get a paycheck that way. You do get a pay stub, but you don't get a paycheck. Okay, gross pay. Gross pay is your pay before taxes and deductions. So that would be, uh, you know, if you made $10 an hour and you worked 40 hours for the week, you get a check for $400, but you don't actually get a check for $400. Your gross pay is $400. But after taxes and any deductions are taken out, you usually get about two-thirds of your check. By the way, that's called the net pay. What is the difference between regular hours and overtime hours? Well, for most people, um, regular hours Uh, are the first 40 hours in a week. And then overtime hours would be anything beyond that. And a lot of times people get uh, paid overtime rates of time and a half. Okay. So any overtime is any hours above that. And people often receive extra pay. If you're on salary, uh, it doesn't matter how many hours you work in a week, you get paid the same. Um, overtime is usually for people who are paid hourly, and usually you get time and a half, but there can be other things. I mean, uh, you know, uh, my sister's an RN, so she's had times where she's she's been on call, so she gets paid like 
$3 or $4 an hour for being on call, which means she's at home. But if she gets called in, uh, she gets extra pay. She gets on call pay. Um, and then um, if it's a holiday, she gets more pay and she gets all these added on top, one on top of the other. So if she was on call and got called in uh, for the night shift on Christmas day uh, and she was receiving overtime, she might be making $150 an hour before it's all done because she gets all these different add-ons to her pay. What is the difference between minimum wage and an hourly rate? Well, there's really no difference there. An hourly rate, um, th these are not comparable things. An hourly rate is just what you get paid by the hour, but minimum wage is the minimum amount that you can legally pay somebody per hour. So let's just look at that, okay? Uh, what is minimum wage? The minimum amount paid per hour um, allowed by law. Okay, um, name some rates people can get paid for overtime work. Uh, usually that's uh, time and a half. which means you get paid your normal hourly rate. Say you're getting $10 an hour, that'd be $10, plus you get another half of that again, so you'd be making $15 an hour. Okie doke. Bi-weekly. So bi-weekly means that you, uh, you get paid every two weeks. So a person who gets paid semi-monthly gets two paychecks a month. They get paid on the 15th and the 30th. They're going to get uh, 24 paychecks a year. But somebody who's paid bi-weekly is going to get 26 paychecks a year because there's 52 weeks in a year. And if you divide that by two, you get 26. So you get an extra two paychecks. It doesn't mean you get more money. It just means you get an extra two paychecks. So semi-monthly means uh, paid twice per month. And monthly means that you get paid once a month. Got to be kind of good at budgeting for that. Got to pay all your bills on payday and then uh, ration your money until the next month. Okay, Christina's paid bi-weekly. Her annual salary is $37,000. What is her bi-weekly salary? Okay, so she's going to get uh, $37,000 a year. And she's going to get... Um, she's going to get 26 paychecks. Okay, because she's going to get one every two weeks. So we're going to divide that by 26. And that means that she's going to get... $1,423.08 every uh, paycheck. That's her bi weekly salary. Carlos is paid semi monthly. His annual salary is $40,000. What is his semi monthly salary? So this is the same thing. Take $40,000, except now we're going to divide it by 24 because he only gets 24 paychecks a year. So 40,000 divided by 24 comes out to be $1,666.67. Amanda is paid monthly. 
Her monthly salary is $56,000. What is her monthly salary? Well, 56,000, 12 months in a year, so we're gonna divide that by 12. That's $4,666.67 a month. Jason is paid $875.24 each week. What is his annual salary? Okay, there is 52 weeks in a year, so $875.24 times 52. That is a salary of $45,512.48 a year. Manny is paid $1,239 semi-monthly. What is his annual salary? So that would be $1,239. Semi-monthly is twice a month, so he's gonna get 24 paychecks. $29,736. Alex is paid $4,100 monthly. What is her, or I'm sorry, Alexis is paid $4,100 a month. What is her annual salary? There are 12 months in a year times 4,100. That is a salary of $49,200 a year. Maureen is paid Portland's minimum wage of eleven twenty-five dollars an hour. Her regular shift is 40 hours per week. What is Maureen's regular weekly pay? What is her monthly pay? Okay, so you got to be careful of this. Uh, the weekly pay is easy. Um, she gets $11.25 an hour. She works 40 hours a week. Okay, so $11.25 times 40 is $450 a week. All right, her monthly pay, you got to be careful of that because People think that, oh, there's just four weeks in a month, and so I just take that times four, but that is incorrect, all right? You're shortchanging Maureen that way. So you got to remember, there's 52 weeks in a year, so I'm going to take her weekly salary, 450 times 52, all right? So 450 times 52 means she's going to get $23,400 per year. Okay, that's not the answer either. So then I'm gonna take that and divide it by 12. So divided by 12, that is $1,950 per month. Okay, so be really careful about that. Once again, people think there's four uh, weeks in a month, and there's not really four weeks in a month. There's usually four weeks in a couple of days. Um, but if you were to only give her four weeks a month, uh, that would be 48 months. So you'd be shortchanging her by, uh, that would only be 21,600 a, a year you'd be shortchanging her $1,800. Okay, Chris has paid the Oregon minimum wage of ten seventy-five per hour. His regular shift is 25 hours per week. What is Chris's weekly pay? So again, that's easy. Ten seventy-five times 25 hours. Is $268. 75 cents per week. Oops, this should go. Yeah, this would 
weekly pay. All right, is monthly pay. So again, I'm going to take the 268.75 as weekly pay times 52 weeks in a year. That comes out to be $13,975 per year. And then I need to take that and divide it by 12. That comes out to be $1,164.58 uh, a month. Shayla's paid a federal minimum wage of $7.25 per hour. Her regular shift is 25 hours a week. What is her weekly pay? What is her monthly pay? So I'm going to let you pause the video right here. I'm going to let you do this problem. Uh, make sure you answer both questions and then uh, unpause this and you can look at this together with me. Okay, so Shayla gets $7.25 an hour. She works 25 hours a week. So that's $181.25 per week. All right, that's her weekly pay. So that took care of this. Now her monthly pay, we're gonna take her weekly pay times 52 weeks. That's $9,425 a year. And then we're going to divide that by 12. And you're going to get $785.42 per month. Easy peasy. If Maureen from example three also works overtime and gets time and a half pay for overtime hours, what is her overtime rate? So we gotta go back to example three, find Maureen and find out what she makes an hour. So Maureen makes 11.25 an hour. So she makes 11.25, but she gets, uh, she gets time and a half. So we're gonna multiply by 1.5. So 11.25 times 1.5 would be $16.87 and a half, so we'll say 88 cents per hour. I tell you, I would have killed for 16.88 an hour when I was uh, in high school because uh, I made $2.90 an hour at the time. That was, that was 10 cents an hour more than minimum wage. If Chris works overtime and gets time and a half pay for overtime, what is Chris's overtime rate? So we got to go back here and look. Chris, uh, Chris made ten seventy five an hour. Okay, so ten seventy five times one point five comes out to be. $16, 12 and a half cents, so we'll say 16, 30, 13 an hour. All right, I'm gonna let you calculate Shayla's overtime. She gets double time pay. So remember her original rate was federal minimum wage, so it's 7.25 an hour. So she makes 7.25 an hour, go ahead. Oh, she has double time pay. You go ahead and figure that out. Okay, if she gets 725 and then she gets double time, that means multiply by two. That's $14.50 per hour. Don't even need a calculator for that. All right, that's a pretty good day for her if she's making double time. Eunice earns $16.25 per hour uh, for her, and her regular hours are 40 hours a week. This week she works 45 hours and earns time and a half for overtime pay. How much does Eunice get paid this week? Okay, so she's going to make regular 40 hours a week 
times 1625. So we're going to figure that out first. Her regular pay is $650. All right, now she has five hours of overtime. You don't get over, you don't get the time and a half for everything. You only get it for the hours over 40 hours a week. So since she worked 45 hours, she gets five hours of overtime and she gets time and a half. So first we're going to figure out 1625 times 1.5. And then that's going to be $24 and 37 and a half. So we'll say 38 cents an hour overtime and she gets five hours of that so times five hours that's hundred and twenty one dollars and ninety cents for the overtime so how much does she get paid well she gets her regular time six hundred and fifty bucks plus she gets hundred and twenty one dollars and ninety cents in overtime so that's going to be $771.90 for the week. Adam earns $11.75 per hour and his regular hours are 40 hours per week. For this week, he works 47 hours and earns time and a half for overtime pay. How much does Adam get paid for the week? I'm going to let you pause the video right here, figure this out. And then you can come back and look at the answer. So pause it now. All right, so Adam gets eleven seventy-five an hour. And he gets that for 40 hours. So his regular pay comes out to be $470. His overtime pay is going to be 1175 times 1 1.5. That's going to be $17.62.5, so we'll say $0.63 cents per hour for overtime. And he's got seven hours of overtime. So we'll multiply that by seven. That's going to be $123.41. And then his pay for the week is going to be the sum of those two things. So 470 plus 123.41 is going to be $593.41 for the week. And there are some people who get regular overtime pay. They get overtime pay every week or almost every week. Okay, there's another problem. I'll let you uh, work this one out um, on your own. So pause the video. Preston earns $12.75 an hour and gets 40 hours per week. This week he works 52 hours and earns double time for overtime. How much does Preston get paid this week? So pause it now, figure that out, come back and check out our answer together. All right, so Preston's going to have a pretty fat paycheck uh, compared to normal. So he gets $12.75 for 40 hours. So his normal full-time pay would be $510. Okay, now he worked 52 hours and he gets double time. So he's got an extra 12 hours that he gets double time. So 1275 times two, that's what 2550, I think. Yep, he's gonna get 2550 an hour and he's gonna get 12 hours worth of overtime. That's an additional $306. So Preston's pay for this week is going to be $510 plus 306. That's going to be $816 for the week.
It's always nice when you get a fat paycheck like that. Michaela signed a five-year contract for a new job. Her starting salary will be $67,000 per year with a salary increase of 3.2% each year. What will Michaela's salary be after five years? Okay, there's two ways that you can figure this out, the long way and the short way. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the long way or the, okay, we can do the long way. It's, uh, she gets 67,000 a year and she gets a 3.2% increase each year. So that means that you're gonna multiply by 1.032 and you're going to do that. Okay, so then the next year she's going to get she's going to have $69,144. Okay? That's the end of year 1. So then I got to do that again for year 2. So she'll be up to $71,356.61. Do that again for year three. That's going to be $73,640.02. Figure it out for year four. That's going to be $75,996.50. And then after the fifth year, we do it one more time. Ends up being a salary of $78,428.39. Okay, you can definitely do it that way. Oops, but I probably wouldn't choose to do it that way. I can do it all at once. And this is what I do. I'm going to go um, 67,000 times 1.032 to the fifth power. And that's going to take me straight to the answer. Now, that won't give me these intermediate answers because if you want to, you know, most people want to know year one, I'm going to make this, year two, year three, year four, year five, and so on. Okay. So, but I can do it all at once. To the fifth power. Boom. Takes me right to this. That's much quicker to do, especially if you've got a calculator. If you don't have a calculator, it's you know, probably easier to do this. I don't know. Okay. Cindy signed a six-year contract for a new job. Her starting salary is $53,000 a year. Remember, this is $53,000. With a COLA increase of 1.5% each year. And remember, the COLA stands for Cost of Living Adjustment. So uh, what will her salary be after five years? So I'm going to do this the short way. I'm going to multiply by 1.015. Okay, so what does that do? This is 1.5%, okay? And the one gives me back the original amount. So this would be a 1.5% increase every year for five years. I'm gonna take it to the fifth power. Now remember, you're taking this number to the fifth power, not this. So do that first, 1.015 to the fifth power times 53,000. That's gonna give him a salary of 57,000. $96.05 per year. Achilles signed a three-year contract for a new job. His starting salary is $74,000 a year with a salary increase of 5.4% each year. What will Achilles' salary be after three years? 
Now you're going to find out this guy, 5.4%, that doesn't sound like a lot. Okay. But that's going to end up being a lot. Um, especially the more years that you get. That's why you don't usually see people get 5.4% annual salary increases because pretty soon you're making a, such an ungodly amount of money that uh, they can't afford to pay you. Okay. Uh, it's more often that you would see something like that once in a while and a smaller increase the rest of the time. So I'm going to let you pause the video here and figure out um, what his new salary is going to be after three years. And then you can unpause it and check and see together with me. Okay, so Achilles makes 74000 a year. He's going to get a 5.4% increase for three years. So 1.054 to the third power times 74000 a salary of $86,647 even. He took that on for five years, like we did the other ones. Now he's at $96,257 a year. And that only increases at a faster and faster rate. Okay, now you're going to do pages 12 and 13 of your packet. Here's page 12. It's got the big directions at the top. Okay, Jessica's paid bi-weekly. Gianna's paid semi-monthly. Victoria's paid monthly and so on. So you're going to do this page. And you're going to calculate hourly pay here as well. And you're going to turn that in next time. So I'll talk to you later.